dear students assalamu alaikum hope you all are doing well i welcome you in the first lecture video of playlist electric forces and electric fields uh, so the first question of this playlist is three point charges are located at the corner of an equilateral triangle as in figure uh, they are talking about this figure Find magnitude and direction of net electric forces on two microcoulomb charge. So basically, in this question, we are asked that we have an equilateral triangle. Uh, when I say equilateral triangle, that means that it's uh, three angles and three sides are totally same, right, the students? Uh, and we have to find the direction and magnitude of this charge, that is two coulomb charge. So uh, let's start solving this question. Our first task is to name all these charges. Uh, let's call it A, B, and C. So students, this diagram seems a little bit scary, isn't it? So let me draw a free body diagram of this, this figure. So if I start to make a free body diagram, of this two microcoulomb charge because we have to work on this two microcoulomb charge that is now our uh, a so if i draw a free body diagram this is my charge that is positive uh, i hope you can see this positive sign here so students <clears throat> these are my axes it's on x and y axis so let me draw axis it's my y axis and this is my x axis right students we will draw a free body diagram of only this charge because we have to work on this charge so students if i see this a charge that is 2 microcoulomb is positive and this b charge that is minus 4 microcoulomb is negative so because pos positive attracts negative towards its uh, towards itself so if i draw a force of a and b charge it will be like this right students so let me call it fba that is the force that charge b is giving on charge A. Now if we see this charge, it's positive and charge C is also positive. So both positive repel each other. So that is why I will make a repulsion sign or I can say repulsive force like this and I will call it FCA means the force that C is exerting on charge A. If you have any query on about this force, so let me just uh, extend the axis. If I extend the axis in this diagram, so this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis and the force of charge Ca, that C is uh, exerting on A will be like this. So that is why I have drawn uh, this force Fca like this. Right, students? So this is my free body diagram of this figure which is quite friendly seems to be like quite friendly so students now it's quite obvious there's that this this angle right here will be 30 degree I'm talking about this angle right here and in my free body diagram it this angle will be here so this angle right here is of 30 degree how can I say that so let's uh, see how can I say that in our uh, school or we can say high school we studied that the angle immediately across it is also same so if it is 60 degree this angle right here will also be 60 degree right and the angle between x and y axis is 90 degree so if i have to find out this angle only this angle so I have to subtract 90 minus 60, so it will be 30. So that's why this angle right here is 30 degree. And I have written it 30 degree. So this is my free body diagram. 
Now the next task is to break these forces into the components. So to break these forces into the components, we can see that this charge FBA, it's on x-axis, totally on x-axis. So there will be no y component of this, uh, this force. But if I talk about this charge FCA, it's in between uh, x and y axis. So there will be an x and y component. So let me make a simple diagram of x and y component of this force FCA. So the force is like this. CA and uh, let me just use another color so it will be easy for you to understand. So the angle is here 30 degree so it will be here 30 degree right and this is my force FCA direction is here. So students because now this is, this will be FCA cos 30. Why cos 30? Because it's adjacent to the angle. So it will be cos 30 and it will be because it is opposite. So it will be sin 30. Opposite to the angle. So it will be sin 30. So my Y component will be FCA cos 30 degree and x component will be fca sin 30 degree i hope you understand why it's cos and it's sine uh, okay students because it is adjacent to the angle so it is cos 30 and it's opposite to the angle so it's sine 30 right uh, students uh, so now uh, the, our next task is to solve this part like uh, to solve these forces so we know that because these forces are electrical forces, so they will obey Coulomb's law. And what is my Coulomb's law? We know that Coulomb's law is Fe that is force on any electric field is equal to K that is Coulomb constant into Q1 that is magnitude of first charge, Q2 that is magnitude of other charge divided by R squared that is the distance between the two charges. So if I apply this Coulomb's law on this force FBA and this force FCA. So my Coulomb's law will become for force FBA it will be force FBA equals to K QB QA upon R square. Right students and for FCA we will uh, use its components right students so for force fca y component it will be k q b sorry q c q a upon r square into cos 30 and for x component it will be f c a equals to k q c q a over r square into sine 30. So students, our next task is to uh, take some sum of all forces that are in, on x component and some of all uh, forces that are on y component. So let us first take the sum of all forces that are on x axis. So it will be sum of f x that are all the forces that are on x axis so let us see how many forces are there on x axis so our first force that is on x axis is fba and one component of this force fca like x axis of this component fca so that is fc uh, that is the sine 30 right students so our task is to add up these forces now the direction of this force FBA is towards positive x-axis so it will be positive so we will write K QB this equation QB QA upon R square but if we see 
the x component of this FCA force that I have drawn here, it's towards negative x-axis. The direction of this force will be here. I forgot to make the direction. The direction of this force is here. Right, students? So, because it's toward negative x-axis, so it will be minus then this equation. That is K Q C Q A over R square into sine 30 degree. So, now you have two options. Either you can take common and then solve the equation or you can put uh, the values directly and solve this equation to get the sum of fx that is uh, all the forces that are on x-axis. So, we know that k that is Coulomb's law k is equals to 8.99 exponent 9. So, uh, it's totally your choice that either you take the uh, common or you just put the values directly but I suggest you to take the column uh, sorry common so that it will be easy for you so if I take the common from this equation to so the common terms are k q a over r square from here and from here so it will be k q a over r square and from here we get q b and from here we get minus QC sine 30 degree. So now we know that K is equals to 8.9 exponent 9. For QA we have to put uh, its value in standard units. So it is QA is 2 micro coulomb. So we will write 2 exponent minus 6 coulomb. Upon r square, our r is 0.5, so means point square of 0.5. Let me just write all these things. So k is 8.99 exponent 9. QA is 2 exponent minus 6 in standard units divided by r square that uh, r is 0.5. So a square of 0.5. Then QB, QB is minus 4 micro micro coulomb so means minus 4 exponent minus 6 in a standard unit so it will be minus 4 exponent minus 6 into sine 30 sorry minus qc into sine 30 qc is 7 micro coulomb means 7 exponent minus 6 so it will be 7 exponent minus 6 into sine 30 so when you will solve this equation, you will get 3.6 exponent minus 2 Newton. That is my fx, summation of fx. Right, students? Now we have to uh, write summation of fy. Means we have to see how many forces are there on y-axis. So there will be only one force that's on y-axis. That is the component, the y component of this force FCA, which is FCA cos 30. And because the direction of this force is downward, means towards negative y axis, so it will be sum of y forces equals to sum of Fy equals to, because the direction is negative, so minus and this equation. The equation with cos 30 degree. So minus k q c q a over r square into cos 30. We know all the values so when we will uh, substitute we will get sum of f y equals to minus 0.436 newton. So now we have got uh, sum of all forces that are on x-axis, sum of all forces that are on y-axis. So if I draw a simple diagram of this fx and fy, it will be like this. x-force because the answer, the total answer of uh, all forces that are on x-axis is positive. Uh, you can see here fx is positive whereas fy is negative so means that 
the direction of fx will be towards positive axis whereas the direction of fy yani all forces that are on y axis will be towards uh, a downward downward and if i draw a resultant it will be like this at the moment i don't know what will be the direction of my resultant let me just write some fx fy so uh, now basically it's a right angle triangle so if i have to find out this resultant i can apply hypotenuse theorem and in this case hypotenuse what is hypotenuse theorem hypotenuse theorem is a uh, uh, hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square in this case what will be my uh, let me call it r so it will be r square equals to sum of fx square plus sum of fy square and when i will substitute the values of fx square and fy square i will get r resultant 0.438 newton so this is my first part the other part was uh, first part means this is the magnitude the other part mean uh, was k i have to find out the direction as well so for direction we can use simply tangent equals to, uh, sorry theta equals to tangent inverse sum of f y upon sum of f x so we know that what is my f y f y was minus point four three six and what was my f x f x was three point six exponent minus two so i will get theta equals to minus eighty five point two degrees or we can say uh, uh, to this we can say that eighty five point two below positive x axis so this is the answer we have worked for these two parts we have find out the magnitude as well as direction i hope this question is clear to you guys please subscribe my channel and share with your friends as well